we are looking at a oh what is this it's a 1999 ford f-350 it's an at t truck but we're specifically looking at a uh, a Kohler 10 kilowatt generator it is a retrofitted marine generator that they've Kohler has put in these uh, AT&T trucks it is an awesome machine four cylinder and it's a liquid cooled exhaust it comes out here and then the radiator blows forward through this grate as you can see and the exhaust is cooled and it blows out and people don't have an issue with that in the truck but it is a great skid mounted unit. You can see it under the slide skid right there. Let's fire it up and put it under load. It's a little bit cool right now. I think we've had it running just a little bit this morning. Okay. Um, blower is off, low, breaker off. Let's fire it up, here we go. Oh, by the way, it's got 1,641 hours. And these generally run for 10,000 without service. Uh, all you need to do is maintain them with changing the oil, etc. Here we go. Fires up real nice. Now there are... There, everything's off now. Um, <coughs> battery's charging. The onboard battery underneath. In other words, the uh, generator set is charging its own battery. Putting out about 240, 250 volts. All right let us it's got a chance to warm up a little bit we'll turn the breaker on let's turn the blower on low speed that's this blower for the air for a manhole you've seen these yellow pipes go in the manhole well here's the blower for it here we go as it settles down it surges just a little bit and then we'll go to that was low speed now we go to high speed it's not drawing many amps only the initial surge but when we turn these 3,000 watt heat boosts on that'll be a total of 6,000 watts if they work uh, then we're gonna really be pushing it okay here we go yep you can see the uh, amp drawer right there that's the first one the second one now you can see the amp drawer right there 25 on one leg 30 on the other now it's loaded pretty good it's still a little cold, it's surging around a little bit. All right, here we go, we're gonna there fire we go. the compressors. compressors are on. Now we're giving it full load. They aren't gonna run for long, but full load, you got 35 amps here, about 30 amps there. Pulling good. 1,641 hours. All right, now we're gonna shut it down. Shut off the dryer, shut off the compressors. Only one compressor's on. And then, uh, now the heat boost. There's one. There's two. Blower's off. Go to back to high. Now it's just in freewheel mode. Let's go, you know what? Let's load it up again. There we go, full tilt. How's it, how do you like that? Put it on real quick. Let's go look at the unit. Here it is running. Pulling a real heavy amp. Running good. These are really good machines. Many of our customers take them and they'll uh, use them for external power on their house or backup power and convert them to propane or natural gas and we can help you find the uh, the kit for that. There's a website for that. Well, all right, let's shut it down. There we go. Now it's totally freewheeling, still charging the battery nice. Now we shut it down. Let's use this part of the remote. The tank is draining down a little bit. got about 80 90 psi in it right now this is kind of a neat little setup it's got a uh, wow I can feel the heat coming out of this thing anyway uh, it's got a two air hoses one for uh, high pressure and the other one is for like 
no oil in there. I don't really know why they did that, but it's got two hose reels down there, an air regulator. We sell that unit um, if you're interested in it.